everyone welcome to it energy world i am sudhir and uh, we are at the india energy week talking to none other than vartika shukla a very uh, celebrated energy sector leader and the of course the chairman and managing director cmd of engineers india eil first of all a very warm welcome to you on our platform uh, ma'am uh, thank you sudhir let me let me begin uh, by trying to uh, you know uh, have a sense from you of what is what is the larger uh, sense that you are getting in the india energy week this time what is the la- what are the top most important take away from iew this day this time one is india energy week has uh, has taken a scale which which was global but it is it is larger than ever imagined uh, two things which are there to stay and um, uh, which india energy week will continue to focus on one is the uh, movement towards energy transition okay where all stakeholders will have to play a very important part in not only growing their capabilities but also collaborating to make sure that Bec- that becomes the mainstay and that becomes a dialogue which is uh, uh, which will continue so that's a theme which will have more and more traction in years to come and the strength of which is also showcased not only in our pavilion where we are looking at bio atf we are looking at geothermal but also in other stakeholders around india energy week so that's okay. one thing which which is going to be the focus area of india energy week as well okay uh, ma'am you're talking about energy transition and you know you've talked about uh, things like nuclear or startups i want to understand from you as far as eil business is concerned uh, what are the new uh, new age business uh, you know prospects that we are working on whether it is nuclear or or things like that right uh, slightly uh, you know thoda sa from the you know slightly different from the traditional line of business that we are in right uh, whether it is uh, something that we are doing on the international side so what is the larger focus what is the larger philosophy that we are working with okay. so see uh, as an engineering company we our strength can be extended to any of the newer sectors so we've uh, completed our hydrogen plant for gale which was a 10 megawatt plant which got commissioned last year uh, in vijayapur that was again the first time that it was actually hap- it happened in the country and we have many other projects uh, which are on the anvil and which are ongoing Uh, the other uh, project that we're working for for a steel sector client on DRI, okay. that is again a newer area which we have put our expertise. Okay. Uh, the Assam biofuel refinery is one of its first where we have used titanium metallurgy okay. and uh, put it all together. So okay. there are many of these examples which are the first of its kind. The geothermal that we're doing in Ladakh Airport is again engineered to perfection with. in collaboration with one of our consultants to uh, you know look at newer things okay. beyond the conventional oil okay. and gas to okay. name a few okay. and and that includes things like uh, nuclear for example right nuclear we, it's not new for us okay. we've done the kodankulam balance of plant yeah. we've been there uh, years ago in heavy water as well so we are trying to reposition ourselves and re uh, rework our strategy as to be a, a, a stakeholder in the development of smr Okay. and it's work in progress yes okay ma'am if i can ask one more question on smr you know uh, not just for eil i mean overall as a country right it's our entry into smr we have not looked at it as a technology so far yeah uh, what are the top things to keep in mind right when we are ent- at this stage things that we have to get right when we enter into this smr the entire smr landscape right so as you heard the honorable prime minister yesterday smr is not just for the public sector it is also for the decarbonization road map for the country as a whole including the private sector so what kind of stakeholdings will be there is something which will which will develop as the as the sector develops what kind of uh, manufacturing capabilities are required engineering skills are required safety standards are required what kind of operations how would be the framework of operations of these smrs those are the things i think what what kind of regulatory framework is to be put in place I think they'll all be work in progress as we go along. Okay, ma'am. PM Modi talked about you know uh, around 25 percent increase in the larger refining capacity that we have going forward, and the, and of course that's part of the larger roadmap uh, to meet the huge energy demand in the country. Uh, what kind of business opportunities do you think you know this this increased focus on uh, refining side can bring for EIA? Oh, plenty, plenty. Okay. So last year we were fortunate. We have almost garnered most of the. Uh, you know investments in the space of hydrocarbons in india uh, and uh, as and when these uh, because we are we are very uniquely 
poised and uniquely placed right. in terms of doing mega projects, okay. especially integration of several technologies into uh, a complete project. Our Dangote refinery, which we commissioned last year, is a seamless operation because of the ability that our engineering team has, our project management has, wherein we, uh, I mean, there is there are no hiccups per se to to smoothen the uh, you know the process. So. That's our expertise and when you have mega projects coming in, when you have brownfield projects coming in, uh, we are very, very well placed to position ourselves. So I'm very hopeful and very positive that whatever projects that come on next year, okay. we will have uh, a lot under our wing okay. to execute. Last year we have uh, won and we have uh, been, uh, we have negotiated several projects in India. Okay. Both the propane dehydrogenation units of the country we are engineering okay. and uh, several polypropylene units, a steam cracker now and refinery expansion. So they are, they are quite a lot. Uh, yeah. one last thing. crackers rather. Yeah. yeah. One last thing is about uh, what is the current order book position of the company and where do you see that, you know, given the, given the way, uh, you know, market is moving at the moment, right? Uh, not just uh, India, but globally also and you have a lot of international business. So where do you see that, let's say, over the next, in the next financial year or over the next few years, how do you see that moving? So or I growing? can give you a historical trend okay. and you can, uh, you can derive from there. No, I wouldn't say extrapolate, derive from there. Sure. We had an inflow of about 3,400 crores last year. This year we have an inflow of about 7,800 crores okay. of order inflow. We are working in many segments, not just consultancy, in depository work, in LSTK work, in OB work. So we are hoping to continue on that growth path to order and flow okay. next year as well. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for Thank the time. You. That will be all. Thank Thanks. you. Thank Thanks. you very much.